his crispus to turn it into a gel. For this, I'm only gonna use like 0.2 ounces. Actually, this is 0.1 ounce of it. And I'm gonna put, let me do one more. Yep, this is just gonna be 0.1 ounce of some conscious crispus. First, we need to get it washed up. And so here's something I want to show you about Conscious Crispus, and this will let you know if you have, like, the real thing. Um, Conscious Crispus has these little iridescent um, colors on the fronds. So you see that inside of the water, right on the tips? Those are fronds. You'll see the iridescent um, colors showing up on the fronds. So that's how you'll know that you have actual um, Conscious Crispus. The Mastercarpus stellatus looks just like the Conscious Crispus. Well, it looks a lot like Conscious Crispus, but when it's submerged inside of the water, it won't have this iridescence um, coming off of the fronds. So I'll slightly rub these, rub the seaweed together because it loosens up the, the, um, the debris that would be on it like the other leaves that might be on it there may be um shells or whatever so just like this here like right in between the fronds so you got to get it in between the fronds so right here right between the fronds you'll see some type of little debris so you're just going to have to pick that out so it, it'll be like little leaves and stuff and i'll wash it like several times and um re-wrench and everything and although I washed it um, like three times, that's a little um, krill. That's a little baby krill that um, finally got loose. And here's a bigger krill that was inside of it. So with Conscious Crispus, you're going to see the krills um, attached and up inside of the foes of this plant. Um, that's just... That's just what comes with, with Conscious Crispus. <laughs> yeah, it looks like a little roach. It is. It's a roach of the seas. It's a shrimp. Now, here's some of the um, seaweed that I have laid out. So, I just want to point a few things out to you guys. So, just looking closer, you'll see the, um, the Conscious Crispus and you can see the difference in between some of the others. This is like over two years old. And the reason that the fronds are a light color is because it's older. Um, it's close to like dying. And this one is a much younger Conscious Crispus. So it's more intact. It's, it's much more, um, it's smaller. And then it's, it's a deeper purple um, than that. But you see how the round fronds are. That's a way that you can tell that it's Conscious Crispus too because the fronds are going to have those round ends on it just like this. And that's how, that's how you can tell. This is another Conscious Crispus. This is, this is really bushy. Um, but again, you have to look at the fronds. The fronds are rounded on the Conscious Crispus. Um, so I'm hoping that this is catching like really good. Yeah, it is. So it's rounded. And so here is the Mastocarpus. And right off, you can, you can start to tell that it is different than the Conscious Crispus. The Mastocarpus, the fronds are a bit longer. And remember, when it's inside of the water, it's not going to have that iridescence onto it. This is just, um, these are all Conscious Crispus. Now, it's flat, but you look at the look at the fronds of it. So you see the fronds are curved, and then it has a flat body. So all it is is just one of the um, one of the plant leaves that actually broke off. Um, so if I was to like take one off and lay it down, then you see that these are actually the same thing. So those are both um, that's conscious crispus as well. And this is the big bushy one that it, it broke apart from. Just so you know, when you go and get you some, you know what you're looking at. So here's the older one. The one that's like two years and plus. Here's 
one that's younger, more bushy all together. And there's, where's the one that's broken down? Let's get this one. Here's the one that's broken off. Now I'm going to show you the mass process. So you see when they're dry, they really do look a whole lot alike. But as you look at their fronds, you see that they're not the same. And this is a younger one. And if I was to get one that's older, it really doesn't look like it. I don't know why I keep thinking of a wolf when I look at the Master Carpets. But you see how they look different. Alright, so getting the gel together, I just put just enough water over the top of it um, just to... To cover it over so it's some hot water it's not boiling at all and so here's the gel the um, the viscose fluid is actually coming off of all of the um, of the seaweed here and it's still holding on to its purple color it's not changing color because it's being heated up for too long so you can see that iridescent right inside of the liquid and I do this to try to keep keep that iridescence in my liquid so I have it sitting on low and so you see it's just enough water to like barely cover that over so I'm just gonna cover it up I forgot to show this being blended down um, so what you're saying is just it, it looks white but it just needs to settle so until it's completely cool. My gel has now settled into its color. The bubbles have settled down and so here's the gel. Okay.